niche designer and Middle Eastern all in one box. Let's crack it open. What's going on guys? It's the Middle Eastern Fragrance King, Neeb with Aromatics. Today I've got this pretty dang big box full of fragrances just for us to unbox. We've got some designer, we've got some niche, and we've even got a Middle Eastern fragrance here. We don't discriminate, so let's go ahead and get started. The first fragrance we're gonna start with is whichever one I pick out without looking. And we're gonna start with Eden Falls from McAuliffe. All right, so I got the 1.7 ounce and this is what it looks like. It's a pretty small bottle, still very nice. This is almost like a ceramic with a dusted finish, nice coating. The cap is really heavy. This, I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it's happening. And there are some textures here. It's like they actually painted it on. And from what I can tell, or from the videos that I saw before, is that they actually do. On the bottom, we have some of that information there. In this fragrance, we have notes of pink pepper, bergamot, tangerine, jasmine, milk mousse, milk mousse, coriander, neroli, and vanilla. I saw that milk mousse and I was like, hmm, I do have a thing for lactonic fragrances. And this is a pretty cute bottle. So let's see what this is all about. First impressions, here we go. Okay, not bad, actually, not bad. I definitely get some tangerine. This smells rather barbershoppy, but feminine. So it smells like a shaving cream, a nice, rich, fancy shaving cream. And that jasmine and neroli is pretty heavy. So a floral shaving cream is what I get with this one. I'm not that mind blown. I'm really not that mind blown. There's a prominent tangerine here, but really what I'm getting is a fancy tangerine, jasmine, neroli, shaving cream not bad it is creamy there is a little bit of a lactonic quality but not really not much of one there is a hint of vanilla here but mostly tangerine pepper that mousse and musk so really that's what i get from this one it's actually pretty simple hopefully we'll have better luck with the next fragrance this isn't too bad i didn't pay too much for this one and it's only a one ounce fancy tangerine and vanilla shaving cream that's really what i get with this one so not too bad nice barbershoppy fragrance let's move on to the next one mirsal of trust from Afnan. I trusted you, Afnan. I trusted you. And on the inside, you get this umbrella handle looking thing, and you just <gasps> smack someone with it. Take a look at this. <laughs> all right, let's get this on a test strip and see what this is all about. Here we go, Mirsal of Trust. This has a prominent saffron, raspberry, I guess some vetiver and ambroxan. This smells like ombre leather. That's what this is. This smells like ombre leather. Heavier on the saffron and a little bit uh, prominent carnation, which isn't always a bad thing. It's just giving this a nice little sharp tinge, but that's also coming from the ambroxan as well. Not bad. Raspberry, saffron, ambroxan, some vetiver. It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Although it has some sharp qualities, pretty smooth. This smells a lot like ombre leather from Tom Ford. Not bad, not bad, but not blown away. Mirsal from Afnan. The next fragrance is whatever this is in a tester box. Let's find out together because I don't remember. Oh, well, would you look at that? This is by Killian's Let's Settle This Argument Like Adults in the Bedroom Naked. Yeah, that's the, the name of the fragrance. I, yeah, I know. <laughs> but this is a pretty cute bottle, man. This is really nice. I like this. So you have that Killian. This is actually the cap. Let's see. Is it the cap? What the hell is this? Hold. Okay. Oh, it is the cap. All right. So you saw how much effort it took to get that off. Does it smell good? Here we go. I'm not crazy about it. I don't know what I was expecting. Nothing outstanding. I would say this is pretty fruity, a little bit woody and powdery. So far, not bad, not blown away, but not bad. Let's move on to the next fragrance. This one I've been waiting for, and it actually took me a while to get this one. And it's called Emporio Armani's Stronger With You Oud. A lot of people have been praising it to be their favorite version of the Emporio Armani Stronger With You line. I'm very curious to see what this smells like. First off, this looks really nice. Black and gold, stronger with you, oud. Let's see what this is like. You know, we've got that chestnut and some vanilla. This is really nice. Okay, cool. You absolutely still have that DNA of the original, but it's deeper. It's It's got, I can sense some kind of leather. I swear, if it wasn't for the notes, I would have 
said that this might have leather in it. Because that's the vibe that I'm getting. Because this isn't animalic at all. Personally, I just think that this is like the original, just three times denser. So far, I'm really liking this. This is how I think Intensely should have been done. Intensely is super sweet. It's just a sweet bomb. Cloyingly sweet. This one has that same strength or density as Intensely without having that same cloying factor. These are all first impressions, so we're gonna see what this does with a full wearing, but for now, I absolutely like this one more than I do Intensely. This is probably second in line right after Stronger With You Absolutely. As of right now, I still can say that I like Absolutely more than I do the Oud version. Still a good pickup. On to the next fragrance. All right, and I think this is last. This is from Mask Milano. And this is Tango. So let's check it out and see what Tango is all about. This one had so much hype in the fragrance community. I saw it for a good deal and decided, you know what? Let's expose. All right, here we go. So the back actually has some of the notes. I wanna just mention that yes, I paid for all of these fragrances. Nothing was sent to me for free. So let's get into this review. You slide the, the top slides. <laughs> This is actually really nice. More glass than it is juice, I feel like, <laughs> but it is what it is. The cap is like this hard plastic with a rubberized finish. So it feels almost like it looks, right? So there you go, right there, there you go. And on the atomizer itself, you can see it says Mask Milano, I believe, right there, okay? Here we go, let's get this on a tester strip. All right, so there are notes of amber, cumin, benzoin, cinnamon, tonka bean, cardamom, sandalwood, rose, and cedar, and a couple of other notes. Let's see what we get with this fragrance. Hmm. First off, I will say that this smells like a niche fragrance. This smells like something from Nasamato. This smells like something that Nasamato would release. The first thing that I thought about was Black Afghano, or was it Pardon? This really does smell like something from Nasamato. It's really ambery, it's really woody, not too much spicy, not too much sweet. This is a super woody, ambery fragrance. I'm not blown away. I feel like I've smelt something like this from uh, Nasamato. Whatever fragrance I'm thinking about from Nasamato, I don't know if it's Pardon, or black Afghano, or a blend of the two. But this smells better. This does smell better, more well-balanced. But yeah, that's really what I get from Mask Milano's Tango. Nope, we still got one more, y'all. One more fragrance, let's go. This one I've been waiting for a long time. This one was suggested to me by multiple people, Montal's Honey Oud. So let's see, Honey and Oud. Sounds like an awesome combination. All right, I still got one of the older bottles that the pin strips off. The newer bottles, the pin is in the atomizer and you don't pull it out. It's just a design. There is no uh, purpose for those pins anymore. Smells really nice. Um, I was expecting a little bit more naturalistic smelling honey and oud, but it's kind of just like muzzled with synthetic vibes in the opening at least. I think this, I'm hoping this one will settle down a little bit better because in that opening, it's just like a chemical mess. But as it's starting to dry down a little bit, I am starting to get some more of the notes. It does kind of settle down. That opening was just, I didn't know what I was smelling to be honest. It was just chemical. This smells pretty nice. It's pretty smooth. Once that chemical mess is gone, it's a lot smoother. Honey and leather, I'm getting a lot of leather. I do get the honey, but it's nothing prominent. It's not really a naturalistic smelling honey at all either. And oud, I'm not really getting too much oud. I, I am getting some woods here. There's an undertone of spice. You absolutely can feel like this spicy cloud around the fragrance. But for the most part, I get a lot of leather. I get a lot of leather and some honey. Honey, leather, Leather might actually be at the same level as the honey here. Oud underneath both of those, and it's just a haze of cinnamon, haze of spice. Honestly, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed with any of these fragrances. Um, I'm just gonna keep it real. Yes, some of them are great, some of them are really good, but none of these, at least in this haul, really stood out or are gonna be topping anything else. I'm very, very likely to wear Honey Oud for future testing, because I think that this one needs to be on skin to shine. I really do. On paper, just did no justice. And you know what? I don't have anything on right now, so let's go ahead and spray this on skin. 
while I talk to you guys about what I think about the rest. As far as Mask Milano Tango, it's really nice. If you don't have anything from Nasamato, I would suggest going with Tango first because I personally like it more than any other fragrance that I got from Nasamato, but it's giving me that same vibes. It's just nothing that I think is going to be like a compliment monster or anything like that. This is art. This is definitely art. It smells good in that respect. As far as Stronger With You Oud, very nice, very nice. And honestly, I have most of them except for Freeze and Leather. And so this one had to make its way into the collection. This is really nice. I prefer this over Intensely and the original. I just have to admit that the Absolutely is, in my opinion, still better than this one. So that was that one. And I can start to smell the Honey Oud. And let's see, I got a whiff of some Oud this time. Oh, much different. Much, much different. That tester did it no justice whatsoever. I can smell honey now. I can smell leather and I can smell oud. It's still that same focus of those four notes, really, what I'm getting most of. But now I kind of sense a little bit more vanilla. The honey is more prominent. It's a bit more natural smelling. It's still not that natural smelling. The oud is there. The oud is there. The cinnamon is much stronger on my hand. Much, much stronger. The first waft I get is like cinnamon first. It's cinnamon heavy. Cinnamon forward, I should say. It's like honey and cinnamon. I love eating honey and cinnamon. Honey, cinnamon, and peanut butter sandwiches. That's my thing. But honey and cinnamon, oud, and leather. That's what I'm getting here with some vanilla. This is not bad. This is not bad. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with this one. I'm happy with this one. The other fragrance that was decent is, let's settle this argument, like adults in the bedroom naked by Killian. <laughs> this one was pretty decent. I love the bottle. I definitely love the bottle. And like I said, it wasn't that mind blowing. Honestly, so far, I feel like this was a seven. First impressions. It's, it could very likely change. It, it will change, y'all. It will change. When I wear these, it absolutely will change. But just right now, I don't think that these are blind buy worthy. Not, not at all, in my opinion. So let's say we put this at a seven. I put Tango, I would say also at about, about a seven because I favor it more than dislike it. It's not a bad fragrance, but I have some uh, bias because of you know fragrances that I like and fragrances that I've already tried. As far as price value for Mirisal, this is probably, I would say a nine. If you like ombre leather, you're gonna love this one. This one's pretty good, pretty good. It gets really close to ombre leather, just a little bit heavier on the saffron. Still, I don't know. I mean, if you do enjoy ombre leather, I think that's a blind buy worthy. Not recommended for anyone who doesn't like leather fragrances. Lastly, this one, I would have to give this one a five. This is probably a five. I really wasn't expecting it to be anything barbershoppy. I really wasn't, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. One ounce, I didn't spend too much on it. So it would be about an eight if I was a female and into barbershoppy like fragrances or, you know, cream like fragrances. But you know, it is what it is. That's pretty much it, y'all. That's pretty much it. So you win some, you lose some. This wasn't necessarily a, a full on loss. I still got Honey Aoud out of this. I still got this one as well. And I love this bottle. I freaking love this bottle. That sums up this haul. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did enjoy watching this video, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, peace.